I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for all of your hard work, for being here at Phoenix Center for the Arts, for many of you for many, many years, for believing in us and giving us an opportunity to serve you in arts and culture. Let me tell you right now that the pleas that we have made to the city to get the building revitalized have been heard. We have a new roof and we're going to start painting in November, but there's so much more to come. And that's what I want to communicate to you today. So we are very excited to announce the wonderful success of our revitalization campaign with the upcoming refurbishments to our Phoenix Center for the Arts campus. And this is going to be for downtown, okay, just downtown only. The campaign has made it possible for the Phoenix Center for the Arts to connect, to fundraise, and to plan for the many and much needed upgrades to our valuable community spaces. We are so proud to renovate our campus downtown, to reflect and showcase the beautiful, inspiring, and culturally relevant work that our students, our teachers, and our organizations are producing. We will work to stay in touch continuously with you and provide clear communication with each and every one of our students, teachers, community members, and patrons to ensure that everyone is well informed of the changes to our regularly scheduled programming. As with most new growth, there would be a little bit of pain, but with enough preparation and planning, we hope to make the whole process as easy for everyone as possible. We're looking to execute this restoration seamlessly with all of our community members and stakeholders, and we're gonna definitely take your schedules into consideration. We will be holding a virtual town hall Thursday, October 20th at 10 a.m. and another one at 5 p.m. And at these town meetings, we will discuss any changes to scheduling and alterations to our upcoming programming. We will go into detail about the physical updates and construction schedule to confirm all significant dates and closure times within our community here. We will be finishing the fall semester early to account for the construction team's timeline that they need for closing off the campus and beginning the work. Therefore, the fall semester will end early. All classes, no matter when they're scheduled to end or not end, but everything closes on December the 4th, okay? That is December the 4th due to the construction team beginning their construction work. Many classes are already scheduled to end around December 4th, but for those that are going past that time frame, please be mindful again to note that all classes will end on December the 4th. Now, we know this means that you've paid for a couple of extra weeks of classes, so here's what we're offering you to do in that place. For those of you who will have a credit coming for those two weeks that we have shortened our schedule, we would ask that you consider the following. You can make that money, go towards the rest of our building revitalization because there's a lot more that still needs to be done. Or you can use that difference in your money to be able to go towards crediting another class that you'll take here with us. Or we can refund them. Either way, it's up to you and we're happy to accommodate your request because we absolutely value you and we really appreciate your being um, accommodating of us as we go through this revitalization process. Construction will be on a very tight schedule and is set to continue through the end of the holiday season, finishing in early 2023. We will be releasing our spring semester catalog mid-November and we will be looking to include online course options wherever possible. Now we know we can't do ceramics online, so that obviously would not be one because we can't figure out how to get a kiln and also a pottery wheel to you. But other classes that can go online where it makes sense, they will be offered. So please keep those in mind. Classes that are not offered online during the campus closure will be paused and they will begin after construction is complete and after the campus is completely reopened for late in-person spring semester classes. We will be announcing more about the grand reopening and open house events in the coming weeks. Also remember that this only affects our downtown buildings. This does not affect any classes that are currently scheduled to occur at Thunderbird. So our Thunderbird Arts Center, everything goes on as usual. Downtown campus only will be affected with these changes. In addition, the parking lot at the Phoenix Center for the Arts downtown location will be updated by the City of Phoenix with new concrete, and that's going to replace the deteriorating asphalt that is currently there. November 7th through November 17th, 
The west side of the lot will be updated, parking lot will be updated with new concrete. November 18th through November 29th, the east side of the lot will be updated. The fall semester again will close on December 4th. Final move out days for all teachers, staff, and resident organizations will be on December the 9th. We will be looking to return to Phoenix Center for the Arts downtown campus in early 2023 to host our grand reopening and our return to classes in mid-February. We will be regularly updating our website with any new information. So please continue to check our website to keep yourselves informed as to what's going on. And as a reminder, that website is simply www.phoenixcenterforthearts.org. Again, that's www.phoenixcenterforthearts.org. Again, know that we value and we appreciate you, and we could not wait to welcome you back with open arms to a revitalized, refreshed, and ready to reconnect with you organization in mid-February. Thank you again for your continued support and love of Phoenix Center for the Arts, and know that we feel the same way about you. And it's about time that we're going to look as good on the inside and outside as arts makes us feel on the inside. Thank you so much.